I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. We we'll continue with our SQL accounting system training. In today's lesson, I'll talk about bounce check and also post data check. So let's go to SQL accounting system, go to customer payment. And assuming that there's one check that paid by customer bounced from the bank. So what we need to do, we look for the official receipt. Let's say this check is bounced. The customer pay on 27 and it bounced on, let's say, 28. So what you need to do is click on the edit button, right click any empty space and set bounce status. So you can see that previously this check is used to pay for these two invoices. So when you check the bounce status on 28, click OK. So you can see the status is bounced. Then let's do another PD check first before we go and check both of these transactions in customer statement. Now, then this customer gives you another check, okay, on 27 or so, but this time it's a post data check. That means the check date is in future date. Let's say it's 1000 ringgit, okay, pay for this 100 ringgit, is paid for this invoice. The check number is this. Then you right click empty space, you can set posting date. So you set the posting as, let's say December. It will appear over here. What is the posting date? You save it. So let's look at your statement. Go to customer statement, print customer statement. Only look at GT. So preview it and see what happened. So you can see that under statement, the system will record down the bounce check, okay, and add back the outstanding value, and also it will show you the PD check under here. So another way to check the PD check is go to customer, you can print customer post data check listing, apply. And you can see that the PD check is recorded. Okay, so this is how to um, create a, a, a PD check and also maintain the bounce check in SQL accounting system. If you do have time, do drop by at my Facebook. It's facebook.com slash syntax technologies. You can get all the latest information regarding SQL and also GST. Then you please help to like my page also. Or if you want to watch previous SQL tutorial video, just go to my website, it's syntech.com.my, then click on YouTube, then you can get all the previous tutorial video regarding SQL accounting system. That's all for today. I'm Brian from Syntech Technologies. Thank you.